The magic of names is a technique that involves using a person's name in order to influence or manipulate them. The theory behind this technique is that a person's name is closely tied to their sense of self and identity, and hearing their name repeatedly can increase their self-esteem and make them more receptive to suggestion. This theory is based on the work of American psychologist Dale Carnegie, who argued that using someone's name is a way of acknowledging their importance and value. Research has supported the idea that using someone's name can have an impact on their mood and behavior. For example, a study published in the Journal of Personality and Social Psychology found that people who were addressed by their name were more likely to report feeling positive emotions and to comply with requests compared to people who were addressed more generally. However, it's important to note that this technique is potentially unethical and can be manipulative. Using someone's name to try and influence them without their knowledge or consent is not a respectful or healthy way to communicate. It's important to be aware of the potential power dynamics at play when using someone's name and to use it in a way that is respectful and consensual. In addition to being potentially manipulative, using someone's name excessively can also be annoying or come across as insincere. It's important to strike a balance and use someone's name in a way that is natural and appropriate for the context. Overall, the magic of names technique is just one of many ways that people can try to influence or manipulate others. While it may have some potential benefits in certain contexts, it's important to be mindful of the potential risks and to use it ethically and responsibly. In general, it's more effective to communicate openly and honestly listen actively to others, and respect their boundaries and autonomy. Using someone's name can be a powerful way to establish rapport and build trust, but it's important to use it in a way that is respectful and consensual. Here are a few tips for using the magic of names technique ethically. 1. Use it sparingly. Don't overuse someone's name or use it excessively. This can come across as insincere or annoying. Two. Be mindful of power dynamics. Be aware of the potential power dynamics at play when using someone's name. If you have more power or influence than the other person, it's important to use their name in a way that is respectful and consensual. 3. Get permission. If you're not sure if it's okay to use someone's name, ask for their permission. This shows respect and ensures that you're not crossing any boundaries. 4. Use it naturally. Don't force the use of someone's name into the conversation if it feels unnatural. It's important to use it in a way that feels natural and appropriate for the context. Overall, using someone's name can be a useful tool for building rapport and establishing trust, but it's important to use it ethically and responsibly. It's always a good idea to communicate openly and honestly, listen actively to others, and respect their boundaries and autonomy.